Okay, now the sound is working. So we start out with, let's just use the very simple one of logical mathematical, because that's the one we did, I did the last time, um, and I did in class for you last time. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to um, analyze, and then general linear model, univariate. What we're trying to do is we're going to find out if, where's the variable, for logical mathematical, if there's a difference between code, did the students know what the test was measuring, and sex. Okay, so we're going to look at these two variables in logical mathematical. Is that the same as my experimental design on the board? Up behind me. Yes, that's how I know what variables to put in there. How many of these are you going to have to do? Eight. One for each intelligence. One for each intelligence. And you hit OK. Do, do, do. OK, and so we'll make that fit in the little window. So now it tells you that there are 74 students that are male that knew. So in that first box up on the board, for the males who knew, there's 74 subjects. For the females who knew or didn't know, there's 85. For there are uh, 58 males who. That's all confusing. Never mind. <laughs> I was trying to figure this out. Okay, never mind. Did the test. Yeah, so there's. Never mind. That tells you how many people there were. Okay. So now, is there an effect of the test? No. The probability of this occurring by chance is 71%. There's only an F ratio of 0.135, so there's no difference between, in logical mathematical, between putting a label on there. Is there a difference in males and females? Oops. Is there a difference in males and females? Yes. So what's the next step? What do I do after this? Make a graph. I'm just going to go simply make an error bar graph. What do I need to put on it? Sex and logical mathematical. And sex and logical mathematical and hit OK. I don't know if I screwed it up. Nope, there it is. No, there, it's just a simple error bar graph. Nothing fancy, just simple summaries of separate cases because we want to look at the difference between males and females. Who scored higher in logical mathematical? Males. Now, because I'm interested, I, this is why I made this graph last time. You don't really have to make this graph because there's no significant interaction. But this is the graph that I'm interested in to, to validate my hypotheses. What do you notice? There's no interaction here. The, the groups are not different on either side. But if we did this for all of them, if we made this graph for everybody, and I can make a line graph to actually show this a little better, multiple line graph. My variable is logical mathematical, sex and questions. How come there's no significant interaction even though the lines cross? Waiting. The effect is the same direction in both males and females. Is that was the was the test higher for males than females on both versions of the test? Was the test higher for males and females on both versions of the test? The difference is a little greater for females between the known and unknown, but still, it's about the same, the same direction. What you want to do is keep running these analyses, and you have to run an analysis for each individual intelligence. For each individual intelligence, make a error bar graph of the significant main effects. A main effect is where there's one of the two variables is significant. Now here's a really important step. If there is a significant interaction, if there is a significant interaction, explain it 
before you explain the main effects. If there's a significant interaction, explain it before you explain the main effects. Why? Why is it important to explain the interaction before the main effects? You can't understand the main effects. You can't predict the main effects because w when you have a significant interaction, it means the main effect is in different directions for each variable. So by saying males are higher than females, well, that's not always true if you have an interaction. So the interaction is a really important thing. The last thing that you, that you need to know how to do um, is what you should always do when you start an experiment. First thing you do is you make what? Histograms. You make histograms just to look at, let's look at the average GPA. There, where's the graph? There it is. There's the average GPA. See a little grade inflation. Um, average GPA is 3.0. Standard deviation is 0.56. Wow, our students do pretty good. Anyway, um, then after you've made um, histograms, what do you do next? Second thing I'd like you to do is correlations. And literally, this is kind of fun. You dump everything into a giant correlation matrix. How come I don't put subject number? It's pointless. Okay, now, if you're Helen and you've got the screen all scrunched small, do you want to dump everything at once into a giant correlation matrix? No, because it gets really hard to try to see all of this stuff. What do you look for? Asterisks. Asterisks? <laughs> okay, asterisks. When you find an asterisk or multiple asterisks, what you do is, is there's a strong relationship between sex and logical mathematical. Did we just explain that relationship between sex and logical mathematical? Yes. Why is there a relationship between sex and logical mathematical? Why is it negative? Why is it negative correlation, though? Females scored lower in logical mathematical than males. Females have a z-score of positive, right? They're above average in sex. Females are, <laughs> males are generally below average in sex. It's funny to say it that way, but that's how the z-scores come out. Um, and as a result, so the males score higher on, on logical mathematical intelligence. Therefore, as sex increases, logical mathematical scores decrease. Hence the reason why frustrated math people. Never mind. Now, look at the, is there any other correlations with sex that you should look at? Any other ones that show up? Naturalistic. Is musical significant? No, the probability of that occurring by chance is close to 50%. But the last one is 0.239, which is statistically significant. So the first or the next analysis that I would start, would I would look at naturalistic to look at the differences in naturalistic. But you can also look at other things like look at the codes. Did this that the first column, did students know what the tests are measuring? There's a difference in bodily kinesthetic. Look at the musical, intellig the musical intelligence for knowing what the test is measuring. That's interesting to me. Naturalistic also, that's interesting. So those are the ones you should focus on. But I want you to do them all and explore them all. You can also, if you really are feisty about it, you can actually start looking at hobby codes. Because there is, a there is some significant differences found in hobbies. Like has something to do with your musical intelligence and hobbies. There's a relationship there. Hmm. As well as your jobs and your interpersonal skills. It'd be fun to explore that relationship. Okay. 